There's a couple of things not being said right now in the UK about the political forces representing the people that voted for Brexit. Farage has got a brand new shiny party called the Brexit Party. Never one for creativity. But the thing about this shiny new party is it's yet another party. And we've already got two. There's UKIP. You remember, Farage, the party you left behind when you said you were quitting, when you put the baton down at third post before you took us over the finish line? UKIP have been trudging along. Their supporters have been out there campaigning. They've still been doing the job. Gerard Batten has been heading that up. But in Farage's ambition to stay away from the far right, he decided to jettison all of them and throw them under the bus. Same too, actually, with For Britain, where you have Anne-Marie Waters. Farage called her an Islamophobe and a racist and a Nazi and whatever else because he didn't want to be tarred with that brush and he didn't want someone else to be in charge either. So I suppose my message is to the 17.4 million, don't be too carried away with the Brexit party. Remember that UKIP were there all along and Farage left that behind to look for something new for himself. And the second thing I would say to Farage and to Anne-Marie and to Gerald Batten is, for God's sake, the three of you, stop acting like kids. Stop all trying to be the star striker. Stop arguing amongst the three of you and recognise you three need to work together, to pull together, to agree to join forces for this brief moment in time. Because it's none of you three that matter. You don't matter the 17.4 million people do. We need a unified front if we are to topple the Tory and Labour Party. Get a grip, get yourselves together and put the 17.4 million people first. Hello, yes, Nigel Farage doesn't need Anne-Marie Waters, Jared Batten or advice from Casey Hopkins, that's right. You've just watched a short video of Casey Hopkins giving air to Penneth about Nigel Farage's new party, the Brexit Party. She suggests, or should I say air controllers, the same ones Anne-Marie Waters and uh, Jared Batten and Tommy Robinson work for. She suggests that Nigel Farage join forces with the horrible little leprechaun Anne-Marie Waters and Jared Batten. Should Nigel Farage do a silly thing, then that's the end of the Brexit party, without a doubt. And that's the intention, of course. You see, Casey Hopkins, like I've said before, she made a statement regarding, after the London Bridge terror attack, that British men should get off the backside and go and confront these uh, Islamist terrorists. And some screwball from Cardiff, um, whether or not he took her words literally or not, I don't know, drove from Cardiff to Finsbury Park Mosque, ran over a, an elderly Muslim guy and killed him. Now, whether or not Casey Hopkins was visited by the big boys in MI5 and maybe warned over, you know, incitement or maybe she lost her job, I don't know. I don't know, but since she supposedly jumped on board the far right and champion all white rights and fighting the Islamists and all the usual stuff, and also working for Rebel Media. That's the same lot Tommy Robinson works for and Jack Buckby and many other uh, agents of Hope Not Hate or the big boys in MI5, whoever it is they work for. So, Casey Hopkins, she's not on our side. Trust me, she's not. Should Nigel Farage, which I don't believe he's going to, join forces with Anne-Marie Waters, Jared Batten and obviously everything else that comes with that Tommy Robinson and that's the end of the Brexit party but like I said that's the intention and isn't it typical how predictable Casey Hopkins making that video I must have a crystal ball and all this one thing she did say Mr Farage that she was right is about you leaving UKIP you should never have done that you should have listened to Joe Owens you should have waited till Brexit was delivered Right, because what did I say to you? Before they can betray Brexit, they've got to finish off or get control of UKIP. Has that not happened? Well, exactly. So, even though I believe the Brexit party will wipe the floor with UKIP, uh, standing in elections, it's so tragic that you've got to compete against, you know, your former party, isn't it? 
party that you led for how long? 20 odd years or whatever, right? So that is tragic. It could split the votes. It could take votes away from it. Though I don't believe it will. And that's probably why Casey Hopkins, or should I say Air Controllers, want you to join forces with Anne-Marie Waters and Jared Batten because they know it's going to take the sting out the Brexit party's tail because it'll lose all credibility once it's associated with characters like that. And as for you, Casey Hopkins, Stevie Wonder would see through you. Okay, thank you.